guys what's up you guys good afternoon so today i've decided to hold my husband down <laughs> so I, I, I held my husband down like i i did a community post few days ago not a few days old about one week ago and I was like, okay, well, we're going to respond to it. Till now, me and my husband will never respond to the community post. So that is why we are here. And we said you should ask us questions for the interest of those people that have just joined our our family channel. You know, channel of friends. Let me remove this here and it's making this place big. So for the interest of those people She's almost 50 age <laughs> That's some most somebody who don't put his eye on I bet good, you know, starts 50 kg 50 kg Weight lift, okay Maybe we have plenty of questions to, to attend so we have about 38 people that has dropped comments on that post, you know, and we said ask us questions for those people who are who are joining us for the first time, do you understand? And who may want to know a little bit of us. So that's why we are here to answer some of your questions, alright? For the ones that we feel it is unnecessary questions, we would not skip ask. it. Yes, we'll skip it, okay. All right. No time for here when you see. Okay, so um, I'm going to be mentioning the people's name that actually dropped the comment. So Chinye Chinye Esther said nothing to ask, but I pray for more blessings, more unity, peace, and everlasting love to you both. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next person is um. Lily Pope, she said, hey mommy, trip, hey mommy, trip will be my, my own wife, you guys, um, mwah. thank you. Okay, my question is directed to my brother. Chief, please, I would love to know how you felt when you welcome Mazi Jr. and the different, the difference of being a girl dad and now a boy dad. The feelings, the expectation and the fear too. Before I go, I go. I would love to compliment my brother because he's looking so fresh and healthy and now keep it up. Ezibo, madu, Ezibo. Marvelous. Okay, so she really said. Cool. Thank you. Mm. She said, how did you, how are you feeling being a girl? I, I've heard that. I, I, <clears throat> as a chief, you don't just, you don't just, you don't just rush into talk. You have to... I bet talk, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made mean, this thing long. Maybe I bet talk, Jerry. <laughs> the truth of it is that, hmm? before now, before I, my wife gave birth to a male child, I have never, I've never for one day thought of, okay, God, why have you not given me a male child? Because one thing I believe in, what God has, what God, the plan that God has for you, that is what is going to come to pass in your life, especially when it comes to children. It's something that you don't know, your own is just to do your due, eh? Do your due, and God will perfect it. You understand? Mm -hmm. You don't have no bribe for that area. You get to once God has perfected it, whatever um, what is it called gender God gives to you, appreciate it with all your mind. So I've always appreciated my yeah. female children, my male and my female children, and when the boy child came, I also appreciated him the same way I appreciated the female children because one head nine the boy gets one head nine the girls gets you understand people make things look as if there's another thing 
whatever thing you give to your female child, give it to your male child. What matters is our old age. How will they take care of you? But in this day, you will find out that the female children take care of parents more than the male children. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I did not feel any different. I feel I, just... I welcome my baby the way I welcomed Beverly, Benz, I welcomed him as well. You understand? That yeah. is just it. Okay, so the next question is from Unique Faith. Say, my beautiful couple, Mr. Manzi, you're looking so fresh and your queen, Mama Trick, will be looking fly as ever. Yes, so we're looking fresh because you know why? In fact, the two of us, we have this peace together. We have this understanding together. In as much as we are couples, we have our misunderstanding. Sometimes, not all the time, not, not be every day. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Sometimes we have our misunderstanding, and then two we minutes, we settle it. Settle it. Let it and we fine. We we eat our food and be happy. Most especially, be happy. Amudati Ibrahim. Amuda Ibrahim said, "Happy Sunday, beautiful. God bless your home always. Thank you." This is Jenny said, my own question is, when is this your gown going to be mine? The thing they enter my eyes. <laughs> next year, December. <laughs> Which next year, December? I'm not even just you. My sister is traveling abroad. When Jenny is traveling abro abroad. I'm just seeing you, brother. See, my sister is traveling abroad. So when she go now, that she would send gown for me there. So forget about this one. This one is a Nigerian gown. You go go there, go to send abroad gown. <laughs> So, Abidu C said, Mazi and wife both looking good. I love this. Thank you so much. B. Bev Walsh TV said, Beautiful and blessed couple. Joy and Felix family said, Nice womb. Nice, good womb. Yummy Foodie said, Beautiful family, I so much love your content. Please keep sharing your mumbang videos and recipe. I love them. Thank you, of course. <laughs> it's just that my, my husband is actually very busy in sites these days. So you would have joined me a whole lot. You understand? Maybe you should come down. I will do my own mumba. When you see it. <laughs> You know that one back is more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Is it interesting or interesting? All of them joined. Okay, <laughs> okay Pisha and jo John said, Hello, my beautiful family. I really miss you and your family. Keep shining, sis, and do what makes you happy. I miss you, Pisha and John. It's been so long, and you're welcome back. Thank you for commenting on my Moonbang channel. And for we are good. Momo the Johnson said good morning beautiful couple. My question is what are you all what are you all plan for your next family vacation? What are some date night activity you all do with each other or celebrate each other? Love your content and can't wait to see what God will do in your life. Thank you. So your question is what are some of the date activity? The date activity, in fact, you know, the other time I told my husband as couple, not just as parents, look with it. Maybe they carry me, they come out. I mean, shall we, that's what we discussed the, the other time. Maybe they carry me, they come out. At least, you know, even if it's once or twice in a month, once they look me. Yes. <laughs> now, then when they talk to a girl. I've been looking there like this. I've been looking like this. Okay, okay. So maybe they carry me, they come out, you know, um, at least once in a while, and then once in a while you carry us as family, both our children out, right? Because most of the time, my husband is always like so business minded, so business inclined. He will forget to say, see, we have to still be dating. You understand? You have to still be taking me out, like. You know, we go out for dates, we, you know, eat something, not necessarily about the thing we eat, but about going out together, sitting like this, you know, just in, that actually brings that, that, you know, single, you know, when we're single now, like, what I mean is that when we newly got married, just you and I, and all these, all these people never come, <laughs> you know how it used to be sweet, like we can enter anywhere. We can climb up, we can come down, we can jump, we can
more investments to be able to, to overcome the economy it's so that when impact. they are planning for you you are planning for them exactly you understand mm -hmm. because when you have more money you don't have anything whenever however way they bring it to you conquer them exactly that's why i'm an evil man mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. jennifer jennifer and um, something some said the lord is good thank you um she names how do you manage to ignore all the luxury life to save the huge you use to build your hotel? What is easy or very difficult then? Then, what then our goal as, as couple was to overcome poverty because of course, you know, in my background, I was not rich. In my husband's background, Mm -hmm. So we have this common goal of let us put all what we have our strength, our energy, our time, our money to be able to do this. Conquer poverty. When you woke up poverty, conquer it. Mm -hmm. And, and, and a, again, now how we were able to do that is that number one, we actually, you know, deaf, we actually made our, ourselves so deaf to to the things that her friends were saying like ah and the things that we see like of course i could not it, it, it looks as if i could i was not able to afford to buy good hair not as if I, there was hair, we are not talking about hair you know it as a to a point time. that they started insulting us with cars you just then but then if you want to buy there's no car you can afford mm -hmm. you understand there's no car i'm just saying sorry about that Hmm? You don't need to be sorry now. Mm. No, no, no. <laughs> what are you sorry for? <laughs> there is no car we can afford. There is no kind of duplex that we can afford. A afford. If there is no area 10. as long as Abuja is consigned that we cannot live. Mm. But, we hmm? to but we have to close our eyes, deaf our ear, and make sure that we come out of poverty. Do you understand? So that is just our goal. That is how we were able to. Every other thing, every other material thing looks so uninterested to us. Although sometimes we used to be like, what kind of life is this? We have the money, we cannot have this, we cannot have this. But yet again, we're like, I think the future will be brighter when we forget all those things and just still put Give to our children what, what our parents were unable to give to us. Exactly. But we we'll train them to be like us so that they will also train their own children so that the riches will keep from one generation to the other. What about? Okay, so um, Han Steven said, as a as couple, do we actually sleep in the same room with our children, or they sleep in their room? For now, we actually sleep um, in the same room. Although we are actually teaching Beverly in particular to be able to sleep alone because she's growing, but Benny's we still sleep together, and of course Brian is still a baby that of course still <laughs> no she he does not need his own room. Benny's too does not need her own room. It's only Beverly that we're teaching. Sometimes he goes to sleep in the other side. Do you understand? So yeah. Um, Ewo, Ewo. And now said, Hi Mama Chikubi Anoga. My question is which advice will you give the young ones aiming to settle down and also how is it like raising three kids? First of all, I would say see if you're aiming to settle down, make sure that look, is that does that your girlfriend likes to nag? Does she like to quarrel all the time? Does she like fight all the time? Can she actually manage money? Is she a money waster? And if you're a girl just like me, you go first of all think, ah, this guy, is he a womanizer? Mm -hmm. If he's a womanizer, you don't change. See, the truth is that you cannot change a man. A womanizer, who is a womanizer? A man, you can't change a man. So don't think that. It's an impossible thing that you can do. I will tell you, 
I will tell you nothing but the truth here. Should I say, I was telling my wife this morning before we, we set up this camera. Mm -hmm. I said, 50 or let's say 70 percent of the friends who were very close to me, they are all womanizers. Madam Afa, mm -hmm. am I a womanizer? Yeah. I can't see me. Even my friends they will tell me because the truth of it is that I really know what I want. As a man, when you know what you want, as a woman, you know what you want. Eh? Sky will be your starting point. So raising three kids is very, very, is very, is very, very easy. Because we 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 do things together. Sometimes. I bait the children, sometimes my husband does that. But most of the time my husband actually helps when it when it comes to school preparation, my husband will help in organizing the food and I'll bait the children, wear them clothes, we and do, do their things together. We do that things choices. together. Together. Is is not we don't be like this one is for the man, this one is for the woman. woman. No, no. We do it. If it's not around to do the cooking, I'll go and do the cooking. If it's around, it does that, I do. So that's how we've been able to raise our children and we're fine, we're comfortable with, with it. So blessing, say hello, Master. May God continue to bless you. My question is, is the garden in the hotel ready yet? <laughs> the garden in the hotel will soon be ready. Soon. Very, very soon. You're going to know when it's ready. How do you manage your busy life with business, family and the kids? Well, we do that because you know we are we are we are co CEO of this place. So sometimes what matters in life, hmm? in terms of what matters is the understanding. When you look at me, I know what you mean. Hmm? When you talk to me, I know what you mean. When I know what to do and you know what to do and when to do it, there won't be any issue. Mm -hmm. So we are managing the situation, however way it comes. And we are opening our heart for more bigger investments. Yes. So and of course we discuss, we plan and we agree. And that's how it works here. Okay? So Joy, something, something, something said, looking good. Are you planning to have another baby? I see the fire like this. I know but <laughs> why 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 you look like me like that? <laughs> <laughs> For me, yes, but of course not now. Make my body rest first. Make my body rest. <laughs> back to back, back to back, giving up beds. What is it? A bed. For this beauty, that is. That is bad. I like that. You will have to collect. in your marriage with having three kids managing the business and youtube i love your outfits thank you first of all mm -hmm. how do we keep the spark in marriage okay so there was one time that we used to be so engaged with our phones you know that we don't discuss anymore it is us that now decide to be like okay when we go back to the house he says madam finish all your work in the day when we go back to the house drop your phone drop your phone no phone so because of that we now have time to just as husband and wife we have time to listen to our children and sometimes we play with them like yesterday Beverly was telling the daddy let them play a particular game do you understand so yes we've been able to manage that okay so when um when will you guys take a vacation trip outside Nigeria? I would love to see those vlog. Next year. Maybe next year. <laughs> Grace said, when I read it, I beg, reduce your husband plate of apple. Don't allow him to lose his six pack. Oh, I know, say, you know, want make girls admire your husband. Ha <laughs> ha. Can you imagine? Whether big belly or, or no big belly, auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that to say you know what make girls like man. Mm. What are big as long as a man has a car, have a business and all of that, girls, you are the truth. That's you know all of those gold digger. It's there for you okay. to control yourself as a man and know what to do and what is good for you. Mm? Because 
Nay, by your go, a sailor you plug, eh? Say something. You the green would need to go. Nay, you wouldn't king, I only see your wife. How are you? Your face look familiar. I've been going to the LTD talk. So, and for that, when it comes to six pack, see, forget six pack. I did not meet him with six pack. So, six pack, who six pack help? Who, who, which Nigerians, which Nigerian man gets six pack now? Forget that one. Who teach your husband how to cook? He's a blessing. He will never go hungry. He will cook for himself. Who taught you how to cook? Answer now. Um, when I learned how to cook was when I was with my auntie. You are growing up with yes, with my auntie, mm -hmm. my elder brother's wife. So things went the way it went, and she died into restaurant business. So I was in short, I was the manager of that restaurant. So whenever she's cooking, just I go to the market, I do everything that consigns that restaurant. So when she's cooking, I'm always with her. To a point that they left the, the restaurant for me, I was only the one cooking the whole food that crowd can eat. At the very tender age, I was managing the restaurant. So that was where I learned, you learned how to cook. Okay, hold on. See, let me tip in. See, there's disadvantage with a man that knows how to cook. <laughs> Ma, tell you, he said he will never go hungry. See this guy? If I cook anything, when mistakenly look like say he won't get small water. Oh, my husband will finish me. <laughs> if salt is taking a person, I don't finish with that. <laughs> if salt is not going catch him, he will say, hey, so you just have to cook. <laughs> so there's always advantage. There's disadvantage in a man that knows how to cook too. So that's the disadvantage I'm telling you now. So don't be like, he will not, he will not go hungry. Yes, now, he used to enter the kitchen and make food for himself. That one is good for me, especially when I'm pregnant or when I'm nursing a baby. It's Make advantage. food for everybody. Make food for everybody, yes. You no, know. I have passion in cooking. That is true. Uh -huh. If I'm out, but, but um, we'll have a kitchen Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I'll be delivering food all over Abuja. Yes. Because that is my passion. So it's um, strip say J strip say how do you and hobby settle your misunderstanding issues? Misunderstanding issues. The truth of it is that since we got married, we've never pointed ourselves. We are married. We don't we don't do that. We only argue to agree on a particular on thing. A particular thing. Yeah. And later before we we'll argue at night. Early morning, when we are waking up, uh -huh. see, let's talk about this, let's talk about this, let's talk about this. We will talk about it and we will settle. We will pray, we will go out. That is how we settle our issues. We have never pointed ourselves, you are this, you are that, you are that, you are father, you are mother. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Because I was not brought up that way. And she also was not brought up that way. So you don't give in what you don't have. Yes. You give in what you have. Yes. So another um, from Sandra said, when is Lizzie coming back? Lizzie will be coming back soon. Mm, Jack Khan said, which local government is are you from? I'm from Ohazara, local government. Ohazara, local government. I'm from Uburu. Uburu. Yeah. One of my village? No, it doesn't Google matter. It. <laughs> Okay, so baby, funny said we have more kids. We've answered that question. My um, Ninja daughter said, My question is, how did you feel sometime when you remember that you have once used police to arrest <laughs> your husband? Remember that time? We don't talk about this, <laughs> talk about this thing before. <laughs> Do you know the, the funny part of that, that story? Uh, because, okay, okay, hold on, let me, let me, let me tip in. <laughs> Now, the thing is that this thing would have been a separate topic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I want to use do another video. Are you? <laughs> okay. Don't worry, we'll use that do another video. Just, <laughs> just now, 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 we're done with this one. <laughs> uh, so that at least we'll have another content. 
So how he felt to have, how do you feel having a content creator wife? I feel... You have passion for what you do. Hmm? I also have passion for my property business that I'm doing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I've always been appreciating God for whom you are and I've always been giving you the support that you need. What you need from me is that 100% support. Whenever, even when I don't even know what you, what you were doing, then when you started, mm -hmm. I, I would, she would be coming back for us and say, come buy me a banana, buy me this one, buy I said, no, let me not ask questions so that you do not turn to quarrel because then I was still to steal her. I will go and buy everything that she mentioned. In fact, the background that I actually used, my very first background, you know, then I didn't see my house to be suitable to use as background. So the very first background that I, I used, he was the one that went to the this thing, to the capital to knock it. And then I now put something, you know, to have a background, a more befitting background. He was the one that did all of that, painted the, the stick and you know sometimes it, it, in fact a lot <laughs> when it comes to that one uh, okay the last question is are you sure both of you are the lawful owners of that big hotel you both showed off on social media because it does it doesn't seem real <laughs> exactly <laughs> it doesn't seem real to the both of us too no, it's because they're not seeing us with, uh, with bodyguard uh -huh, and uh, BG, you know, and you're, and you're seeing us here doing lifestyle, showing our humble life, showing where we're, you know, doing See, hair, you know, going my to... My brother, go. my sister, don't deceive yourself. Just be yourself. Hmm? For your information, we are the real owner of Eddie Goodyear. The lawful, that, that in the law, the law, the lawful owner <laughs> of Eddie Goodyear. Okay, uh, and go, garden upcoming. Go and google it. Google will tell you. <laughs> so I want you to believe it, okay? Just so like we, we just like we are beginning to believe it right now. Because before, when we look at the place of the land, God, you and we had to do this. How did this happen? How? How? It's all about it's all about decision. Yes. You no know, decision creates an opportunity that would have never existed. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. determination. And when you insist, God will definitely assist you. That is what have brought up this. Yes, exactly. For the Golden Hotel. So I want you to know that yes, we are the lawful owner. We built it with our money and time, energy, passion, love, everything that have to do with building this whole place. We are the not owners. inherited. Not inherited. In fact, we are the one that are building it so that our children will now come and you know enjoy. So come power, cleared it and build it from the foundation to this level. And I don't know how to draw. Okay. Okay, so that's all of the question and then um, okay, we're gonna do it, do another video about that's how we met this thing that we're going to be talking about anyway we'll talk about it in another video so thank you so much for watching thank see you in another video please call me on 080-36-200-910 yeah for if your you, property you need any property as long as legit or not be one way they'll collect your money chop legit. if you want me to build for you we have a company part of nigeria if you want me to buy the land, built for you, be rest assured that your money is safe. I have an office that is worth billions. So and I a can, company, that, and is a company registered. that is registered. So I can run away for peanuts. 100 million is a peanuts by the grace of Almighty God. Yes. Hmm? That is how, because we are humble and God has always made it. God have always instructed us to be humble. Mm -hmm. He will lift you up yes. when you are humble. 